My name is Nandini. I'm a freshman at New York University studying journalism and dramatic literature along with a lot of other mandatory courses that NYU is making me take. But basically this video is about like a chill weekend style kind of vlog. So hope you guys enjoy and without further ado, let's get into it. city is so freaking beautiful i cannot emphasize that more the cherry blossoms everywhere the different trees the lushness it's so 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 gorgeous to look at to try some nepali food my friend and i decided to go to jackson heights that day but it's quite far from where i stay in manhattan it's in queens so we decided to take the subway present to you the classic New York subway riding experience. Actually no, this was the first time that the station was actually quite filthy in my sort of limited subway riding experience but you know what can we do? Big city, large number of people, the whole drill. of Jackson Heights just reminded me of home because there were so many Indians everywhere, so many Indian shops and restaurants and small such details that just reminded me of home. Like I said, small little details all around made me feel like I was back home. There was a picture of Lord Saraswati and there was a picture of Lord Buddha. All those are deities in Buddhism and Hinduism. And the menu and the whole just vibe made me feel like I was back home. And that was a nice feeling. Apologies for the half-eaten food, but it was absolutely delicious. And I'm so glad I finally got to try Nepali cuisine. Next, time to do some window shopping. Here we are right now, no longer 17. Oh, have we been around? Got some years on us, and a new barrel as a sea. So we're here, but I still appear inside a dream. Next, instead of continuing with our window shopping, we actually found a really chic little Indian store which had a lot of Indian jewelry and chunkas which are earrings and juttis which are like belly flat bottoms and it was the sheer sense of nostalgia that forced me and my friend to go into the shop and find ourselves in a world of pleasure. I think nearby customers would have really been freaked out of me because I was literally geeking out about every little detail of the shop. It was so crowded, well deservedly so, because the pieces were so, so, so pretty that I just could not lift my eyes over any and all of them. If you guys want to check this shop out, I'll leave their Instagram handle down in the description box below. grocery store which was evidently a very Indian grocery store which was not Americanized thank goodness for that because there were a lot of 
Indian food that I was missing out on so I got a lot of groceries I assure you so that I could feel a little bit more at home here even though I love New York City nothing against that the way you make me the next day plans changed a little bit and my friends and i couldn't do what we actually wanted to do so instead we just went out on a crisp new york city walk because that never gets old you got the summertime love i work for your heart all night to the dawn you stay with they switch stars you're the one, yeah. they go and they come You like the summer breeze Through the trees, you like a getaway Shoot with me, you like the summertime love You like the summertime love And may I present to you the trash of New York City You will literally find a lot of these when you walk around Girl, I say you're the one and I mean it I mean it, I mean it while walking, we found this adorable thrift store which had a lot of furniture, accessories, clothes and stuff like that. And then we headed off for dinner to Han Dynasty which is a really good Chinese restaurant. Summertime, you like the summertime. 